have been priming her for so long. I have been priming her for longer. <laughs> you think you're going to swoop in on my prey? Yes. You have another guest coming. I married her. I lived with her. I love... Say it. I love to think of her cooking in stew. <laughs> <laughs> That's my point. If you had been with the love doctor, you would know what love is. And I was just going to find out. Listen. All right. Yes, I fell in love with her. I have committed the most heinous sin a zombie from space could commit. I fell in love with a human. And yes, I thought for a time I might save her. I might devour the entire world, but leave her alive. And yet, I have realized I cannot. I am what I am. And just like the scorpion will always sting the fox before it reaches the other side of the river, I will always kill a human. So that's a no, then. You're not going to save my sister. No. <laughs> but you. How is it that you can think of saving her? Doesn't the hunger rage within you? Yes, it rages within me. But she is my twin, sort of. <laughs> what the hell does that mean, anyway? <laughs> We're Irish twins. It means I still feel what she feels, but we were born at different times. You are not even this human carcass you wear, but look how you have taken on its life. I feel it. Don't you see? I feel it. I want to kill her myself. Yes. But I want her to live. Oh, Michelle, you found Michelle. Oh, I thought Joey you were dead. I thought, I thought you'd been killed by. No, I just left my molar. You're inside her. Yes. Here, you have her. Oh, yeah. Thank oh, you for this. finding her. Julie, it's so good to see you. See you too. Martin. Julie. I, I need to leave. No, you don't. Say what you have to say to me. You've been trying to tell me something for so long, and now that I know Michelle's okay, why are you looking at me like that? Do you really want to hear the worst of it? Of course. Do you 
guys have any bay leaves? <laughs> no, no bay leaves. No bay leaves. Oregano? Oh. Why? Because it's vegan and it needs flavoring. Here's some venison. Never. <laughs> oh, by the way, I'm a vegan now. <laughs> We're all here, we're safe. Did you see anything on the way out? No, nothing. Did you hear that? Yeah, they're out there. The, the radio's all static. It's a shotgun. The TV, all the stations are down and there's no cell reception. Do we have any more shotgun shells? Any more weapons, anything? Only what we have here in the cabin. Yes, I have my bow. And I have seven arrows left. That's what you gave me. Two shells in here, but there are only 11 shells in this box. I can make the chili extra spicy. <laughs> <laughs> it's not so... Sure. Uncle Bob, you said in emergencies, if anything like this happened, that we should not trust anyone outside of the people that are with us. Do you, do you trust... That's a really good idea. You know, I've known these guys since... I don't know, grade school? And you kids your whole lives? Everyone stand back now! Get in the line! <laughs> Whoa! Oh, easy, Bob! Easy. Get in the goddamn line! Back. You get in the you line! Get back. No! Oh, wait a moment! Just put your weapons down! I... Let's just hear him out, okay? Guys. Uncle Bob, tell, tell us what to do. Charles? There is way too much to say here. <laughs> just listen to his plan. He's smart. I just want everyone to sit in their own chair. <laughs> and I'll sit in mine. <laughs> Can I have a rocking chair? Why don't you eat your salad? <laughs> <laughs> this is silly, Bob. Why must we be one of those creatures? I heard about them. They've changed forms. Don't you guys know anything? This is some, you? this is something one of those creatures would say. Have you, have, have you ever wondered why is it you're always the one mysteriously finding the creature over the victim? Because you, I'm the you, hunt. You saw their parents get murdered mysteriously. You saw that deer get murdered mysteriously. I don't like How come you're always in the wrong place at the right time, Bob? Larry, you don't know what you're talking about. You know, Larry, that sounds like zombie talk to me. Putting one plus one together equals two? Only a smart zombie would say something that like <laughs> Oh, you've known me my whole life. You know I'm not smart. I know. <laughs> you know why I know? He didn't kill it because he's a coward. He can't kill anything but a deer. Isn't that right, Uncle Bob? Yeah. Yeah. All now right. you're a beat. Now, now maybe it's time for Connor Heads to prevail. What do we know about these zombies? We know they have loose teeth, for one. <laughs> we know they like meat. I'm a vegan, so I'm out. Margaret, I mean, you studied anatomy in college, right? When you went away for a few years. Do you have anything that we could use to maybe tell if someone was one of them? They take the form of other humans. There'd be nothing different. Come on, you must have learned something. You spent $100,000 on that fancy university. They don't teach you about zombies in college, OK? Oh, wait a minute. I do know something about thermodynamics. It takes a certain amount of ther thermonic energy to shift from cellular structure to a different corporeal form. Oh, wait a second. You just said zombies were smart. <laughs> yes, but I'm not that smart. I just read about it in a book. Okay, keep, Uncle Bob, keep going. Let's see if we can figure out a Thermal to make energy this. to change. So we Listen, need I have to wait for deer. A lot of time on my hands, so I read things. <laughs> so we need heat, thermal energy. Yes, they give off a lot of heat. That's what I'm trying to say. Anyone have a thermometer? <laughs> we got this meat thermometer. <laughs> That's the only thing that'll work, but it has to be done rectally. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that? <laughs> it's just more accurate, damn it. <laughs> okay, this is oh. going crazy. What? What temperature would a zombie be? 120 degrees exactly. That's pretty hot. It's very high. Yeah, it would be hot to the touch. You wouldn't need a thermometer. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know, Kevin! Uncle Bob, why do you leave so red? <laughs> You're sweating 
bullet. I am sweating because I'm scared. I'm not a zombie, damn it. <laughs> we need more food. I'm going to go into the back shed and grab some. Wait, someone should go with you. Someone brave. Yeah, I'll take a volunteer. I'll go. <laughs> Don't want this chili to burn. <laughs> you, you too have known my uncle since grade school. You don't think that that's a zombie, right? That took over his body? It could be, right? It's a ridiculous idea. He used to pee himself every day in first grade. <laughs> we just came up with that plan to test our temperature, and now he goes running off. I mean, I'll stick whatever you need up there and tell you whatever. Dude, maybe you should go check on him if you're not worried about him. Nobody knows him better than you. He basically raised you like a father. And if he is one of those things, then your sister might be in danger. You're right. I should. Wish me luck. Good luck. Okay. This has to be some. Uh, yeah, I got can of corn, can of beets, can of beets, can of beets. God damn it. I can really use a steak right about now. I am. It takes some time to adjust. <laughs> Uncle Bob, you really did see those things, right? I did. Randy, what are you doing out here? I was just checking on you two. Here, have some canned beets. <laughs> Uncle Bob, I have a thermometer here. I'm going to prove it to you. So you go out back, I'll prove it to you. The outhouse. Can we just turn around? <laughs> Need privacy. I feel like an oral thermometer would be easier. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Is that one of them? But also, he's been questioning me a lot lately, and that's never like him. Usually, he's right on the ball. I trust you, I believe you, and now he's all cooped up in his own head. That's different. I know we have our differences, and I said things that I meant that were a little harsh, but maybe we should stick together as a family and interrogate those two. That's the only thing I ever wanted. <laughs> we should use... Those tools that you taught us, sneak up behind them, maybe tie them up. What do you mean you don't love me? We have the whole world ahead of us now. We are both of the same kind. We could have everything we always pretended to have. Julie, I was not pretending. I fell in love with you. I thought I was in love with you too. But only as a human. Oh, if only Dr. Love were here to help us. Because He's here! When you are a zombie. 
Bambi. I just don't love you anymore. You were cuter as a human. <laughs> I like when you wear those onesie pajamas. <laughs> Willing to commit to being human for the rest of your life. <laughs> Can it be done? Yes. <laughs> is, is that what it would take if I completely suppress the zombie in me and Live my life always as a human. Will you love me? Dr. Love, is that really love? Oh. If he has to pretend to be something he's not, even oh. though it's better. <laughs> that is a sacrifice that he's willing to make for the relationship. It is giving of yourself. Think of it that way. <laughs> no more eating people's lips. No taste of blood. <laughs> and you would... <laughs> I I'm hungry. <laughs>